Hi everybody, my name is Tina Chang. I just wanted to say hi. I was supposed to come to Central Lakes College this past March and just due to the urgent state of our nation, I'm so sorry that I couldn't come and I just want to say hello. I hope that you're all doing okay. Uh, my days have been filled with actually taking care of a loved one who hasn't been feeling well at home. They're, um, I think that they're okay, but I just wanted to let you know that because I wanted to let you know that I'm in the same place as, as many people right now, either in a state of immense concern or trying to take this time to slow down and be with my family and feel okay not necessarily doing anything but just being and I have found that the hardest part of being is just being being still being quiet being all the things that I probably should be being a writer throughout this very difficult time for all of us the thing that has always saved me is poetry. I started writing poetry when I was quite young. I started writing, I think, serious poetry when I was about 12 or 13, when I felt that the world was not on my side and started penning my first words, although it wasn't until college until I really felt that my teachers really saw me and I felt like I was falling into this world of poetry that uh, just was just taking me in and welcoming me and I felt so grateful and I've continued on with it ever since and so especially during a time like now when I'm feeling as if the world is just a little bit too chaotic for me sometimes I go to the stillness of poems I'd love to read to you, if it's okay, from my book. I hope to be returning to see you in person one day. But I'll read to you a poem and a half, a poem and a half today from my book. You'll be seeing it backwards. <laughs> Hi, Britta. Uh, it's my new book out from Norton. And it contemplates the mindset of a mother who is raising a child of mixed race. He is half Haitian American and half Asian American. And being a mixed race black child, I was very concerned for his safety. So it really thinks about the state of the mother who wants to protect her child so much and doesn't know if she can. So I will read to you from the last poem of the book. Some people find it a little bit mysterious and maybe some of the things that will really uncover it is to say that I was writing the poem while I was on a bus. I was going from New York City to upstate New York and it was snowing so, so hard that day that I didn't know if the bus would actually make it through the snow. I was afraid we would just be stuck there. And then while I was on the bus, I was imagining that I was on this mythic animal. And I'll, and I'll read that poem to you now. It's called Color. Up ahead, it's white. Snow animal, I'm running at your back. I failed to tell you I've been hungry all this time. To tell you I've been searching for you like meat, like water. All my life, I've distanced myself, as to know you was to drown, as if to find you, I'd usher myself further from what is real. I've been adrift along the threads of time, leading me out beyond an imagined frame. I've untied myself, uncuffed the arms and neck. I didn't know I was hurt like that. I didn't know there was a force pulling me downward, lulling me to sleep. You are the one escaping. You are the one breaking free. I understand your astonishing dash to freedom, done with the estranged wind, done 
with the frost and storm. Orchids curling outward beyond grief. The road widens to glory. The road disappears. So that is the final poem of that book, but really the final, final poem actually belongs to my son. I say it's a half poem because it's sort of like half graphic novel, half poem, and I'll try to show it to you. This is, if I could show it to you, this is, um, it's backward. So here is his uh, little graphic novel. It's set in the future. And there is uh, sort of, he wants to get into this room, which is there's eye recognition. He enters the room and takes off what he believes is his skin. There's all these people watching him as he comes out of the room. And then at the end, the last one it actually says, but you can only see it backwards. It says, who am I? And it's from my son, Roman. It's the last poem of the book because he wanted to end the book and it says I come back in the secret room slip into a skin and walk out blended in with the world so I thought that that was a really beautiful message to end with that there is a desire of this little boy to so want to be a part of the world to so want to be of this world and accepted. Thank you for sharing this time for, for with me and I'm grateful to you and I really hope that I'll get to see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.